Hi guys, it's Justine, but you can call me Blondie. Today's video is going to be what I got my kids for Christmas. Um, if you're new, I have a seven-year-old son, a three-year-old daughter, and a one-month-old daughter. So, so the one-month-old did not get a lot because, uh, first of all, she doesn't know what's going on, but also, like, she's our third baby, and all the baby stuff that she would need that we could have gotten her for Christmas we already have because we have two other kids so I just want to put that out there so that's why she doesn't you know have hardly anything um and then also just before I get into this video of course just a disclaimer Christmas is not about the presents I know that for a lot of people it's going to look like like my kids are getting way too much and for other people it's going to look like I'm not giving my kids enough um this is just how our family does it and this video is not to brag or anything. I'm just going to share um, their gifts with you guys. I don't really know why people like to watch these videos. I don't know if people watch them to get ideas from the video. Um, I like to watch them. Um, honestly, I just like to see what other people are getting their kids. I don't usually get a whole lot of ideas from other videos, but I just like to watch them. So I'm going to share um, what I got my kids. So I'm gonna start off with the stuff that like is the same or stuff that they all got. And the first is Christmas PJs. I showed this in a different video, but they all got some red plaid Christmas PJs. My son and my daughter got the same exact ones that are just like red pants, red plaid pants, and a red and black, a red shirt with like black, I don't know, trimmings. And then the baby got a red little like bag. I don't know what these are called, like a, uh, I don't know. It's the ones that like it's easier to change diapers in. And then hers also came with a little bow and a little hat. So the kids are going to wear those, um, open those and wear those on Christmas Eve. That's just a tradition we have every year is the kids get new PJs on Christmas Eve um, that are matching and they open them. So there's that. And then my husband also got each kid a big stuffed animal. So a puppy for my son. Then I don't know which is which of the girls, but then one of them is getting a bunny and one of them is getting a lamb. So they got those. And then something that's for the kids to share um, are these ants, it's this ants in the pants game. Um, they got a few other games, but this one is just one that's going to be um, for them to share. Honestly, all the games that we have in the house, they all go in the same place, all the games and puzzles and stuff. So the kids are all gonna share them anyways, but some of them we just divided between the kids, um, this one's gonna be to all of them. And then my kids, the older kids each got a new Kindle. Um, these are the Fire 7 Kids Edition Kindles. My son got one with a blue case. My daughter got one with a pink case. They have both have, have had Kindles in the past. And the thing about Kindles is they like, they don't last very long. They only last like a couple years. However, they're cheap. I got these ones on Black Friday. They were $50 each. Like $50 for a tablet compared to like, I don't even know how much iPads go for anymore. Um, I would much rather opt for these. So they're each getting a kid's Kindle. And to go with those, I got some screen protectors. This is a three pack of screen protectors. These are ones specifically made for the kids edition fire seven. Oh, something else I wanted to mention is if you are buying kids Kindles um, on Black Friday and on the like Amazon deals day in July, um, they're usually on sale for $60, but if you buy them in a pack of two, it's $100 for both of them. So you can get them for $50 and you can save 20 bucks. So um, if you're ever in need of multiple Kindles, um, definitely look into that because you save more money if you're buying um, more than one. So there's that. And then the screen protectors and then also to go with their Kindles. Um, I got these headphones and these were also a Black Friday deal on Amazon. They're normally $15 and they were on sale for $10. These are the Elector foldable headphones. Um, I don't really know anything about headphones, but these got good reviews. A lot of people said that they were good for kids. So these are the ones that I picked up. I got the blue and green for my son, pink and purple for my daughter. And then I think that's it of the stuff that's like for all of them. So now I'm going to do show you their gifts from oldest to youngest. So I'm going to start with my son. So first off for him, he's getting a couple of books. The first is The Missing Kitten. This is a chapter book. He's not quite reading chapter books on his own yet. He is in first grade, um, but he does like it when I read chapter books to him. 
And then we have The Tale of Peter Rabbit, which is a level two reading book, which is one that he definitely will be able to read on his own. And then um, he loves like reptiles and dinosaurs and he likes dragons. They're not his favorite, but you know, like reptiles and dinosaurs come before dragons. Um, but he got this book as well, not your typical dragon. And then um, he got this coloring book. Both the kids got, I think, one coloring book. And so this one is, is it all dragons? Oh no, it's a bunch of different characters. I saw the dragon and thought it was all dragons. Um, but it comes like this and then it also comes with stickers. So um, another like tradition we have is the kids each can open up a book on Christmas. The past two Christmases they've opened up like Christmas themed books. We didn't get any Christmas themed books this year. Um, so he can open up like one of these on Christmas Eve and we'll read it on Christmas Eve. He also got a new soccer ball because um, I don't I have no idea what happened to his old one. So he got a new one. Next, he got a couple of like Lego sets. I don't think these are technically Legos. I think they are like knockoff Legos. But he got this little SWAT, they're brick tech. But he got this little SWAT car. And then he got this little police helicopter. And I like these ones, these smaller sets like this, because these ones he can do on his own. The bigger ones, um, I have to help and they get a little too complicated for him. And then he also got, this is one of the games, he got Jurassic World Uno. Jurassic World is his favorite thing ever, so when I saw they had a Jurassic World Uno, I had to pick this one up for him. And then I saw this puzzle. We actually, on Thanksgiving, we had like a bingo thing um, and we each, everyone had to bring like bingo prizes to contribute to the bingo thing and so I brought a bunch of puzzles. And then, while I was getting the puzzles for the bingo, um, I saw this one and thought he would like it. So I picked this one up for his Christmas gift as well. And it's got a Spinosaurus and there's a T-Rex in the background and a couple others. So I thought he would like this one. It is a 300 piece puzzle. I think the most amount of pieces I've done with him on puzzles is a 100 piece. And he really loves puzzles. but. Hopefully we can do this one because we've done a 100 piece before and that one was pretty difficult for both of us. And then I also got him like this Owen Jurassic World, I mean it's basically a Jurassic World Barbie. He has like so many Jurassic World dinosaurs but he does not have an Owen and that of course is his favorite character so had to get him one of these. He's been asking about like Owen characters, um, like Owen toys, there aren't a whole lot on the market. But I got this one. And this one, by the way, isn't like an actual Barbie. They have an Owen Barbie. It does not look like Owen at all. This one actually does like look like him. And then I got this off Amazon. It's just a little like magnetic thing, um, like a magnetic dry erase board. It comes with a ton of letters and numbers so he can spell stuff out and do math. And um, there's dry erase markers to co color on it. Um, so I thought this would be fun for him for like, just to like play around on, but then also to like practice spelling words and stuff on as well. And then on Amazon, I ordered this big like Nerf gun set and it comes with like just a bunch of like Nerf gun accessories. So it comes with a ton of bullets in two different colors. It comes with red and blue bullets, like a ton of them. It comes with these little chambers to hold them. It comes with two little like fake grenades. Um, it comes with like some headband pieces, two of them. So it's like two of them so you can have different teams. It comes with goggles and then it comes with two vests. And the vests also have like little things that you can put the Nerf guns on the Nerf gun bullets on. And so he has like a ton of Nerf guns and we're always running out of bullets. So I, I was just going to get him bullets, but then I saw that and thought it'd be perfect. Oh, and then there's also these little wristlets to hold bullets. So there's going to be some big Nerf gun fights going down um, between him and my husband. My daughter might even get in on it too. We'll see on Christmas Day. And then I think the very last thing that's for him is this 
big thing. It's a T-Rex skeleton. And it's like this. He's going to go crazy over this. I have no idea where, where we're going to put it. Um, hopefully there's room for it on his dresser because I don't know where else it would go. Um, but he's going to love this. It says it's 91 centimeters. So I can't think. I, it's too late in the night to do math right now. But however big 91 centimeters is, that's how big it is. I'm assuming that means it's pretty big if they're putting it on the box. But uh, yeah, that's uh, what it looks like. <laughs> so, um, I think that's it for his. And so now let's go on to my three-year-old daughter. Okay, so now moving on to my three-year-old. She was kind of harder to shop for because she is kind of, she likes everything. Like, she doesn't have, like, one thing that she loves. Like, my son is super easy to shop for because he likes dinosaurs and reptiles and... So we just get him a bunch of dinosaurs and reptiles and sharks. He likes sharks. We didn't get him anything sharks this year. Um, but my daughter likes literally everything. She will play with anything. So you'd think that would make it easier to get her stuff. It actually made it harder. Um, but I'm going to start off. She did get, I think she actually, yeah, she only got one book actually. But it's um, Five Little Penguins Slipping on the Ice. And it's just a cute little book about penguins. And then, in lieu of other books, she got some, like, art stuff. Um, because she loves art. As far as toys and TV shows and stuff goes, she loves everything. But she especially loves to, like, paint and draw. So, um, she got this little holiday art kit. And it comes with nine pages to paint on. And then she also got a coloring book, and it's just a Disney Princess Jumbo coloring book. And then she got this Elena of Avalor. Is that how you pronounce it? Avalor? I don't know, because she doesn't watch this show, so... Um, but uh, it's just a cute little puzzle for her to do. Both my kids, like I said earlier, they love puzzles. She also got this... Um, wooden jigsaw puzzle and it's just a bunch of like really easy like toddler puzzles. I think the Elena one might actually be a little too complicated for her. She's definitely going to need help with that one but this one is one that she can do on her own and it comes with six different wooden puzzles. And then she also got a little card game. Um, I just got her Go Fish. I don't think we've ever had a Go Fish game. We've always played Go Fish with like other card decks so now we have an actual Go Fish. Again, this is one of those ones like the the Uno game that it's it's really for the whole family, but I'm going to wrap them up separately for the kids. And then she got a Sparkle Girls. I don't really know what it is. It's like a Barbie fairy sort of thing. She very recently has started getting into dolls, so got her this one. And then also got her... A Moana doll. She has like a big collection of like the Disney princess um, like Barbies and so I got her Moana because she doesn't have Moana yet so there's this one to add to her little collection and then this is one my husband picked up it's super cute it's called Big Biggles um, but it makes a sound I don't know it's just a cute little stuffed animal sort of thing. I'm sure she'll love it. I've actually, I've never heard of these before, so I don't know. I Oh, you can change. It made like, oh my God, that's creepy. Hello? Okay, so <clears throat> I moved that thing way across the room. I'm not sure if you guys saw it, but I started talking and it started repeating what I was saying. And it's like, and since I was far away from it, it was using like a deep voice. When I did it up close, it used like a happy, exciting voice. Like those things are like Furby 2.0. That was so freaky. I did not know it did that, but apparently it records you and repeats what you say back to you. 
that is something that is going to stay in her room far far away from me okay moving on um, another thing is this color style fashion purse activity and you can color in your own little mini mouse purse I thought this was another one that's perfect for her because she likes to do art it also comes with some little gem stickers you can stick on there and she also loves purses every time she sees me get my purse and get ready to leave the house she needs to grab her purse same thing with backpacks if she sees my son with his backpack like when I go to take him to school she needs to bring her backpack as well even though she's not getting dropped off she's just coming with me to drop him off so um, she loves bags she loves purses and she loves art so this is like a perfect gift for her and then she is also getting a little dry erase board a chalkboard hers is a little different than my son's the biggest difference between this one and the other one is this one only comes with like one set of uppercase and lowercase letters and so there's not as many things that like you can spell at once whereas the other set comes with um, multiple of every single letter so that's the big difference between the two sets I think this one has like a higher quality board though so you know, if you're looking for like a set like this, um, I feel like this one's better for little kids and the other one's better for bigger kids. And then the last thing, I'm pretty sure this is the last thing for her, is this um, bristle blocks set. We have a few bristle blocks. We actually got some that were like hand-me-downs. They were given to us by a family friend, but it wasn't a full set. Um, my son never cared much for them, but my daughter loves them. So I decided to go ahead and add to what we have since we, um, we don't have very many to begin with. We have like maybe like a third of a set. And so now she can do more with them. So that is for her. And then I'm going to show you the babies. So for the baby, my husband picked up this knitted yellow baby dress this is so so precious um i think it is so dang cute this is all like i cannot wait i'm gonna do like a little photo shoot maybe not like a professional one but you know one like in my own home um with this one it's just so dang cute so there's that and then it came with a little matching blanket so that's for the baby and then there's this little activity toy it has four little things on this spiral top you can put this on the top of the car seat um and as well as like other places i'm sure you could put it on like um a high chair or something she's still a little too little for it now i'm also really nervous about putting toys on car seats so i would most likely use it on her high chair or something but um it's just a cute little baby toy and then her big gift is just like this activity mat like i said earlier um, most of the things we have for baby are like hand-me-downs, but um, my uh, three-year-old's old activity mat was pretty run down. So um, picked up a new one for baby girl. And that is it for this year's what my kids got for Christmas this year. This is my first year doing it for three kids, even though, you know, the baby obviously didn't get very much. But that's what my kids are getting this year. If you filmed a what I got my kids for Christmas or what's in my kids stocking video, let me know in the comments below because I love watching those types of videos and I will definitely check yours out um but that is it for today's video I hope you guys are enjoying vlogmas so far and I will see you in the next one bye guys